Within this video, we're gonna go ahead and run through the weather settings inside of Twinmotion. And these are just gonna help give your scene just a little bit more life. So to find them, you actually just come down here into this little section inside the ribbon and go ahead and click on that and you'll find weather right over here. So we'll go ahead and click that. And we have quite a few settings in here and some of them actually kind of work together, which is pretty cool. So this first slider basically goes from sunny into something that's a bit more cloudy. And then it finally goes into actual rain, right? And then if you come out the other side, you get nice and sunny again. Something that's kind of cool, if I go right about here, watch the rocks right next to the water. You can see that they get a little bit wet. So it's actually changing the materials too, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and set that one back. Now this next one over here actually goes from sunny to fall to winter, which is pretty cool too. And if you watch the rocks again, you'll notice that only specifically, if you look over here, you'll see that there's snow only on the top of these. So if you actually rotate an object and it does take on that material property, then you're only gonna get snow on the top, which is really kind of fun to play with. And of course, if we go out through the other side, ends up pretty much you know nice and pretty again. Now, these two sliders actually work together. So if we crank this over so it starts to rain, and then we bring this one over as it starts to snow, we actually get particles for this too which is pretty cool. This is a lot of fun to kind of play with. So I'm gonna reset both of these. Now the next one that we have over here is our growth. Now this is a master growth. This is basically a global setting and you can set the trees to not pay attention to this, but this is kind of fun because you can actually make them very young or very old. So this is cool because as you're working within your scenes, you can make them feel like they've been around a whole lot longer, which is really kind of cool. Right. So let's go ahead and bring it back to the particles because I do want to show you that you can turn these on and off too, depending on the complexity of your scene and the power of your computer. So over here on the far right, we have our effects area. So let's go ahead and just open that one up and we can actually go ahead and turn our particles on and off right here, which is good to know, right? So there's that. I'm gonna back this up and let's go ahead and reset these guys. There you go. So back into our effects. We also have a, let's go ahead and skip the wind speed in the direction for a moment. We can bring in our smog. And this is kind of cool because we can make our world seem like it's very foggy, or we can make it feel like inside the inner city and it's very smoggy. So something to kind of play with on there as well. So this wind speed and direction, now we're not gonna be able to see a whole lot of this unless you've got something specific in your scene. And I've got a little wind sock right here. So let's go ahead and select that. I'll hit F and zoom in on it. Kind of zoom in on around it. There we go, let's go back into our settings here and back into weather and back into our effects. So our wind speed over here, I can go ahead and just like turn this up and you can see we can make this actually flap in the wind. Now the trees do actually move in the background too and the bushes will kind of wiggle as well, but it's very obvious when you've actually got this one set up. Now the wind direction, right? So if I go ahead and look above on this, we can actually change the direction that the wind is actually going too. So again, something that'll add a little bit more life to your world, which is really kind of fun. So I'll just kind of turn this one down. So the last little section that we'll go ahead and talk about here is actually kind of fun to play with. Um, we have an ocean, and in this case, it's actually on. So we have our oceans down here on the bottom right. So I click on that, and if I turn this on, it's actually an ocean. Now, we had just a plane in there, so I apologize, I lied to you, that was my fault. But we can change our height and we can actually bring this down. And if we go up, we can basically flood the world and now we're underwater, which is kind of cool because now we actually have like an underwater shader. Um, what's nice about this is that if you're working on something like a houseboat or on an island, much like this one, you've actually got that. Now, what's really kind of interesting about this is it, if we go straight up, there's actually water that falls off of the camera, kind of a cool little effect that's been added in here, right? So we can also set the water to be different as well. So we've got different water settings. So if we go down underneath, whoop, a little too far. There we go, right? So we can actually set these. There we go, clear, river, tropical sea, rapids. You know, so they've got different settings, which is really kind of nice. So we'll just leave it as clear right there. And of course, let's go ahead and dry this back out. Let's go ahead and, and enable that water there. So you go, there are your weather settings that you can go ahead and set up inside of Twin Motion to give your scene just a little bit more life.